Hey guys, uh, today's a new video, and, uh, let's get started. So, um, oh, cool. Um, so as you can see, it is the Missing Ninja, um, uh, event. So basically, it's a Minato event. That's what Missing Ninja usually stands for. Um, he's finally, <coughs> excuse me, he's finally gonna go to Diamond, uh, well, he's finally gonna go to Reborn, actually. <laughs> um, uh, <coughs> so today is, well, yesterday, I suppose. It's a eighth, right? Yeah. Yesterday was the day that you could have gotten the combination card. Now, a few things to keep in mind uh, when it comes to the combination card. Um, it is very powerful, actually. It's one of the most powerful combination cards simply because it has uh, Kakashi, Obito, and now um, Minato. And all three of them have the potential to go Diamond Reborn. As you can see, Kakashi and Obito, um, just a two-way combination card with Kakashi and Obito, um, goes to 16 million TP. Now imagine a three-man uh, three combination card uh, with three Diamond Reborn cards. That would be pretty insane, in my opinion. I'd say it easily goes up to a good 18, 20 million TP. Now, the thing to keep in mind is that um, today is just a normal recharge day. Today is the day that you can get stuff for, like, Minato. Um, for example, some of his training materials, his tier 5 items, stuff like that. Yesterday was the day that you could have gotten the combination card. Now, if you do have the combo card power of two eyes, you're going to get 20 free um, uh, missing team combo card, which is... Uh, the Minato um, Kakashi Obito combination card. Uh, you're going to get 20 fragments of that for free. <coughs> Sorry. Now, I was thinking of getting the combination card. But, unfortunately, it would have actually costed me about um, 15k to get um, to recharge. And the problem with that is, is that I don't have... 15k is about $600, give or take a few hundred and i don't have i'm short about 200 dollars to get that um so i'm probably not even gonna get like a reborn um minato I, like at the most i'm probably just gonna recharge um just enough to open up up good uh oh shit wireham look at that he's got his diamond reborn minato he's got his minato team right there it's pretty badass he finally surpassed me in tp nice man congrats um but as i was saying <laughs> I'm probably just going to recharge like maybe uh, 10, 20 keys, open up, uh, open those up and just get the rewards for like opening up 10 keys. Because if you open up 10 keys, you get, I believe, 30 or 40. Um, Here, let me go ahead and see. You get a few fragments just for free and it's just cheaper in general to do it that way. Um, You could go ahead and like just do the entire thing. But, um, at the same time, it's a little harder. So, yeah, if I open up eight uh, prizes, I get 50 fragments, 50 fruit, and 60 recharge coupons for free. So, I'm probably going to do that. Just open up eight, um, and just get those for free, which is quite cheap, to be honest. Um, maybe 50, 60 bucks. And if I ever do manage to get diamond Minato, I'll just have a bronze Minato right then. Well, not bronze, but a purple card Minato right then and there. <laughs> Now, moving on to the event itself, um, at least for today's recharge portion of it, um, let me go ahead and find it. Uh, if you recharge today, like I said, you're mostly going to get just tier 5 items. Um, if you recharge uh, 1,000 gold um, today or tomorrow, you're going to get the tier 5 material for the Watergate Lightning um, certificate, which is the... Um, the the item which uh uses the skill find thunder god uh redirect lightning something like that um and basically if it triggers um you're gonna be able to reflect any skill back to the enemy so it's fairly useful but it's a it's on minato only and it has to be tier five if you, if you wanted to work with the combination card um now, let's see. Yeah, like I said, today is really just mostly to get materials. For example, if you recharge um, 220 uh, gold, you get a bunch of stuff for, like, Zetsu. Uh, Shudo Zetsu cells, you get Obito Uchiha, Team 7 card packages, Kakashi, Rin, all of that stuff. Um, yeah, I mean, like, you're shutting on uh, times 3, Conan's Hangover. Uh, really, like I said, this is just, uh, like, Stuff for like Kakashi and Obito, um, and Minato just to train them up. Um, 
um, when you really get the tier 5 items for, like, Minato and, uh, him, you have to recharge up to, like, 6k plus, um, otherwise, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Um, if you recharge 15k, you're gonna get a diamond running card, and give me one second, because I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. And, okay, that went away, good. Um, apart from that, the cumulative recharge is really just a combination of all three of their items, it's a fairly good recharge, and, like, you can get the Kamui Lightning Cutter skill fairly cheaply, only 6k. Um, but otherwise, there really isn't that much else to it, to be perfectly honest. I mean, it's just a recharge, basically. Um, you can get a couple of free items, like, repeatedly to, like, train up, like, Minato and Obi... Not Minato, but to train up, like, Obito. Um, if you go to the events, there is the, um... Uh, sorry, Naruto event, which you can use 30 stamina and 1,000 gold to take it on. It's a fairly easy thing. Um, as you can see, you can just defeat it. And you can do this particular trial to try to get Yin Chakras, which are 1k each. So it's fairly cheap to just use stamina instead of gold to get them. Um, apart from that, there really isn't that much else to this particular event. Like I said, I'm not going to be recharging, uh, more often, more than likely for the keys, simply going to do like eight keys opening and then go ahead and just like save up for the next event because at this point I'm going to get bit, I'm going to have gotten like 20, uh, not 20, but, uh, 40 fragments for free for the combination card. Um, so if I hold out like another three events, and they keep this up, I'm going to get the combination card just for free. Admittedly, it would have taken a long time, but still, it's a free combination card, which normally would cost, if you want it right off the bat, let me go ahead and check, that's the wrong one. If you want it, like, just instantly, um, it would normally cost you, let's see. Um, okay, so you get 30 fragments at, uh, 10k gold recharge, another 30 at 15k, another 20 at 20k, and another 25 at 20k. I mean, another 20 at 25k. 25k recharge is, give or take, uh, nearly $1,000. Um, so, I would have, I'm getting this a lot cheaper if I just wait. It's as simple as that. Um, like, what I've come to realize is that, unless it's an auction card, more often than not, if you're really just patient, like, really really patient you can get a lot of shit for free um the biggest thing is that like people like for example wyrim who managed who's i'm sure has been saving those keys up for like forever um like him he would he will instantly like just get um uh he will just kick your ass in cp because of the amount of powerful cards he gets like right off the bat um now apart from that there really isn't that much else to tell for this particular video i'm gonna have to go ahead and do some q a and uh, probably just end it there. So let me go ahead and lower that. Lower the volume, actually. Oh, sorry, I was watching a little bit of John Oliver. Um, let's go to these videos. Huh. Cool. Um, pause that. And let's get Deadly Q&A started. Um, how do I overclock Jiraiya Naruto combination card or Sasuke combination card in Age World War? I have a good Kakashi, his active, and Hashi. Okay, so... Uh, overclocking is just about the same for just about every single card. Now, the basic idea of it is that you have somebody like Orochimaru, and keep in mind, Orochimaru is more often than not one of the most critical pieces to this. Um, you have somebody like Orochimaru, like I said, critical guy. Um... And you have somebody like Hashirama. Um, he is one of the two cards you can use for this. Hashirama or um, Darui. Uh, but Darui, you need to have him diamond. And Hashirama, you really only need him to have him purple card. Keep in mind, I'm talking about the purple card Hashirama, which is the powerful one. Not the uh, one that you can get from the gold tendra. So, the idea is is that you have a tier 4 or tier 5 or tomorrow's ring now if you want this to work for the combination card um so you can sub in the combination card instead of over tomorrow if you want it to work that way you're gonna have to have a tier 5 or tomorrow's ring but in general if you just want to use over tomorrow then a tier 4 uh ring works just fine now Hashirama has to have the passive skill Hobi technique. 
Um, you can have the two several thousand hands, but that's just something extra that you don't really need. You really need the Hobie technique, which you can get from over here um, in the item shop. You go to scrolls, scroll to the left, um, keep on scrolling, and you should find it right over here. Hobie technique. I know it says something else, but uh, it's the technique that you need. Okay, so as I was saying, you go to Ninja, and this is two basic components that you need for overclocking. Now, the way that you overclock the Jiraiya Naruto combination card is actually a little, um, uh, how should I put this? It's, it's a little different. Um, now the Jiraiya Naruto combination card can overclock really nicely, just, um, by itself with its basic stuff. So if you have a Jiraiya Naruto combination card, it's going to overclock really nicely. Um, the thing is, is that you really want to have the tier 5 Fukusaku and Shima um, on the card. Uh, the reason being is because that particular item gives the Jiraiya Naruto um, an extra... Um, let me go ahead and find Jiraiya. Here we go. Sorry. Um, an extra shadow clone right after it releases. Um, usually it's one shadow clone, sometimes it can be two. Um, and those shadow clones, they change it up a very, very big amount. So let me go ahead and give you an idea. So we have Inazagi's activation. World of Trees, that's what. Um, Hobie Technique, and here we go. Here we have uh, Orange Maru going on with this. A Branch Technique, Curse Seal. Um, Triple Rush Shenmon, Curse Seal. And then Sage Technique, multiple Shadow Clones, Sage Genmon, and um, you can't really see it from here, but the idea is that he gets an extra couple of Shadow Clones, so as you can see, he has quite a few Shadow Clones just right off the bat over here. Uh, now, the Jiraiya Naruto Combination card, its original skill, the one that it comes with, what it does, it gives them the ability to, uh, what do you call it? It gives the combination card the ability to constantly use the Tilt Beast buff. Um, it says only once per battle, but if you have something like the Hobie Technique um, or the Curse Seal on the Jiraiya Naruto combination card, um, it reapplies constantly. It's a, it's not a, just a static buff. It's a constant, constant buff. Not only that, on top of the on top of the Shadow Clones, uh, Shadow Clones, if you have the Shadow Clone passive, you also get the Shadow Clones from the um, Fukusaku and Shima Tier 5, which just overclocks it really nicely. As you can see here, the amount of damage being done by, the by not these two, but by Jiraiya is insane. Um, the battle is only at round 11, and it's almost over. And keep in mind, he really only has a, a couple of Shadow Clones. He's got two Shadow Clones and then two more, maybe one more. Um... Let me go ahead and show you again. This time, taking on the eight tails. Now, keep in mind for the dry and auto combination card. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I'm a little under the weather. But as I was saying, to keep in mind for the dry and auto combination card, the skill that you're going to want to use is Sage Art Asura Shuriken, um, which is really just the best one to use. Um, let me go ahead and show you the uh, the tailed beast battle. So you have the eight tails. Um, most of most people don't know this, but the eight tails is actually harder than the nine tails, which is why I use it as a uh, just a guide, I guess, just to show how powerful certain cards are. <laughs> um, now the thing about the uh, skill for Dry and Naruto is that it does two true damage, which just ignores all defenses. Why is which is why he can do so much damage to the enemy. <laughs> Um, so as you can see, just doing this large amount of damage, and he just KO'd the Orochimaru, which is cool, I guess. Um, but it should just be about be over, as you can see. Um, Hashirama and Jiraiya just wrecking this guy. There you go. Just instant death. Um, but as I was saying, uh, that's how you overclock Jiraiya. And no, it's a combination card. Now, the Orochimaru Sasuke combination card is not as powerful as the Jiraiya Naruto combination card, but it's more versatile. Now, what I mean by that is that, for example, the Jiraiya Naruto combination card, um, not, not Jiraiya, the Orochimaru Sasuke combination card just kind of allows you to get rid of Sasuke and Orochimaru so if you have the tier 5 items, mind you. Um, because what it does is if you have the tier 5 um, 
curse seal um I mean, if you have the tier 5 ring, it can release the curse seal. If you have the tier 5 um, Itachi's Shutting Gun or Eternal Mangeki Shutting Gun, I believe it's called. Let me go ahead and show it on Sasuke. If you have this tier 5 item right here, Eternal Mangeki Shutting Gun, um, he can release a debuff, which just does an insane amount of damage towards the end of the battle. Um, so let me go ahead and show you. I'm going to go ahead and put this back here and do this now keep in mind it doesn't do as much damage as jiraiya naruto but it also releases a very good skill which is the which is the um what do you call it this the uh indora mark which in combination with the asura mark from the jiraiya naruto combination card it does a lot of damage <coughs> oh. uh. I'm sorry about that, <laughs> but it's been a long time coming. Uh, apart from that, there really isn't that much else to tell. Um, as you can see, it does debuffs from the Amaterasu because of the tier 5 Eternal Mangekyo. It does the Curse Seal buff because of the Curse Seals. It does the Tailed Beast buff because of its skill, the Indara debuff because of the skill. Now, in combination with the Asura Indara, I think I already said this, but... Um, it bears mentioning again in combination with the Indira and Asura mark. When those two combine in um, a single card, they cut 10% of the enemy's HP. It doesn't matter if you're in the Ninja World War, if you're in the Tailed Beast, 10% of the enemy's HP is cut off. Now, the reason this is so useful, especially in Ninja World War, is because it gets to the point where you're literally cutting billions worth of damage off of the enemy because of that 10%. So let's say that you do a perfect battle and you release six times your uh, unique skills. Um, that means that you, just because of releasing those six skills, um, for a certain cards, you're going to be cutting off 60% of their HP just right off the bat. Um, well, not right off the bat, but towards the end of the battle, making it a lot easier to get past uh, stage 100 because at that point you only have to deal 40% of the HP instead of the full 100% of the HP damage. <laughs> And uh, would it be better to save up for the Soccer Sunari combo card for 200 Mystics, or should I just go ahead and use the 100 I have for Naruto combo card? Uh, it depends on what you need. The Naruto and Hinata combo card is actually really useful um, because of the skill that it comes with originally. And let me go ahead and show you that. <laughs> so the Fight for Lab is actually one of the my personal favorites simply because... Um, the skill Gentle Phoenix Baron uh, Twin Nine Fist um, that it comes with um, is pretty much unblockable. So, uh, so for example, you have Renengan. It doesn't trigger any um, passives, and it seals passives, as you can see here. It, it just sealed this enemy's passive. It seals their um, unique skill. It just, it's really great, basically. Um, that's what I would get. I am saving up for the Tsunade uh, Sakura simply because I already have the Naruto, Naruto Hinata. But if you um, need something to seal permanently, or at least not permanently, but if you need something to seal passives for at least two rounds, then Jiraiya, Jiraiya uh, Naruto Hinata is really the best way to go. Uh, okay. I'm going to get Kaku's Zabuza combo card. I have both on gold. So, um, if you log in every single day, you get these things called... Um, wait, let me go ahead and... If you log in any day, you get these things called Mystical Training Exchange Certificate. Um, it's a reward for logging in. Uh, you get one per day, and you can get it daily for the rest of your life if you really want to. Um, so, you go to Sundries, and you scroll to the left. Oh, wait, not Sundries. You go to Gift Pack, you scroll to the left. Um... And just look for the Zambu, Zabu, Zabuza uh, Haku combination card. So most of these are really out of your reach simply because they're boutique exchange certificates and stuff like that. But if you keep on scrolling, you're eventually going to find the um, Zabuza Haku combination card. I just can't see it here. Um, keep in mind, it's be, uh, Mystic, not Boutique. Um, very big difference. Boutique, you, have, you usually have to recharge, and they're a lot more valuable than Mystic. Uh, Mystic, they're just nice to have i guess they they're useful for the cheaper combination cards and for 10 mystical training packages you can get the uh haku zabuzo package and you can just exchange get one and you get the combo card right then and there uh keep in mind the biggest thing you have to do is log in 10 days and you get the combo card and you're fine how do i make my cards do the ninjutsu right at the start of the first round um so 
this is something that's really basic, and I feel I've said this a hundred times, but you go to equip, you equip the Crystal Wrath, level five minimum, level three if you have the um the this collection right here. If you have this collection, you only need a level three. Um, but if you don't, uh, you need a level five, which is wait, why do I only have eighty three million? I could have sworn I had eighty six. Something feels off. Oh, it's because of this thing. The national one. I haven't participated. Can I still sign up for Akatsuki? <laughs> I, damn it, I didn't manage to sign up. So, okay, where am I? Who am I with? <laughs> what the hell is my country? Damn it, I forgot to sign up for the Akatsuki. Fuck, 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 fuck. Okay, so I guess they're gonna assign me a country. <laughs> Which, cool, I guess, but damn it. Anyways, uh, as I was saying, um, if you uh, if you want to release the first, on the, your unique skill, your ninjutsu on the first turn, you need to use the Cursula Wrath level 5 or level 3 minimum. Uh, after that, it really just goes whoever goes first, basically. <laughs> What is the gems for? Is it useful? Uh, so gems... Uh, okay, so the r thing about gems is that... Um, I kind of feel like they're um, understated. So they're actually extremely useful. So basically, you go to equipment, and you go to any equipment, basically. Uh, and you have the polish, embed, and refine, and enhance. So you go to embed, you go to embedded, and you can click right here to um, embed a ruby... You can click right here to embed a sapphire, right here, the middle one, and to the very far right, an emerald. Now, as you can see, a level 3 sapphire is going to give you 15k stamina and 30 tenacity. A level 2 emerald is going to give you um, 3k taiji to defense, 3k ninja to defense, 3k uh, genji to defense. <laughs> so, these items, when you level them up to even, uh, like, like I said, level 3... Um, let's say that you put three, uh, you put the max amount on every single one of them, which is on your card, which you have eight items, eight level three, um, gems. That's 15 K on each right from then there. Um, you get a minimum of a good hundred K C P boost just for equipping those items, um, which is a lot harder to do than you would imagine, especially as you go up higher. So that's what they're useful for. Uh, just boosting your stats. Um, the way to level them up is that you need to consume other gems. So basically, you go to your ninja, you go to equip, you go to embed, you go to Madara, and you can synthesize, and then you choose, for example, I want a level 2 ruby, so I put output, which it just chooses some random level 1 gems, and then I have a level 2 gem. And as you can see, it gives me... 2.7 Taijutsu attack, 2.7 Genjutsu attack, 2.7 Ninjutsu attack. Um, and then you can just equip it to that and just go on your merry way. Um, the best way and the easiest way to get these is just from buying them from this shop over here. I like I like to just save up my honor and uh, just buy like 10 of each uh until I run out of points and then save up again, 10 of each, and then successively until I have a lot of gems. <laughs> How can you get the boutique for the combo cards uh, that I can buy in the, in the shop? Um, you need a recharge or during certain special events, uh, you can just get them for free for, from opening them, pr from opening prizes. Keep in mind though, um, you usually, as far as I can tell, only get about three or four for free um, per event. So if you want to save up for something like Madara, um, Madara's gold card, you're going to be saving up for a really, really long time. <laughs> um, how do I make Orochimaru reuse Curseo passive skill? Um, you need to have the tier 5, uh, tier 4 ring for your Orochimaru. That's what you need to do. <laughs> That's how he keeps on releasing it constantly. Uh, with the passive, you, you only release it once, but with the tier 4 ring, it releases constantly. And if you want a, t a combination card to release it, you need to have the tier 5 ring. 
Uh, I forgot to how to get Unrivaled Strength for Sonare, the healing one for her. Um, you need to just wait for her event. That's a, an event exclusive fire. What's the best team to use against 24-9? So let's go ahead and look at 24-9. <laughs> um, depends on your team, quite honestly. Um, as you can see here, for example, these guys just rape my the enemy. <laughs> Uh, although I would recommend the Steeler, so the Naruto Hinata combination card would be great. Uh, Neji would be awesome, and then some damage dealers with some uh healing people, like Tsunade and Sakura. So um, yeah, there you go. Uh, keep in mind that these guys have a hard time getting sealed, so you're gonna be one of, wanting to work with like True Seal, which is something like uh Hinata or the Naruto Hinata combination. <laughs> Uh, how to get Toad Bunta to merge with Toad Summon Scroll? Okay, so, um, you actually need to have the item inside your, uh, inside of your inventory, but otherwise, go to your inventory, go look for the item, click on the item, and then it, if you have the items needed to combine them together, you should just be able to synthesize it, otherwise you, you're missing one of the items. <laughs> Is it true that the more you recharge the cheaper it gets? Technically, I mean, uh, what it means by that is that if you recharge large amounts, like if you recharge 6,200 gold, you're going to get like a 15% bonus of gold. Um, the thing is, is that it kind of just stays static. Um, for example, it says if you go to the their website, it's cheaper, but it's not. It's just like an advertising shit. <laughs> How long will it take to get my Sasuke gold? I have 68k stamina. Yes, yeah, 68k. Uh, 68k, And my regular team is 19 million CP. I just never took the time to get my Sasuke gold. I have all his tier 4 5 items and all of his skills. He's around 2.4, 2.6 million already at bronze. Thanks. Um... Oh yeah, you can do it. It's just going to take a really long time. Like Your finger's going to hurt by the end of it. Um, but I'd say a good 20k stamina is what's gonna, it's what it's gonna cost you. I could be off by quite a bit though, so don't quote me on that, I guess. Um, how much gold would I have to save up to get Minato from base to bronze? Um, from Minato from base to bronze, uh, actually quite a bit of gold. Um, let me go ahead and look at the, uh, <coughs> I think you need uh, 30 for just the first training and then another 60 for the secondary and then thirty, another 30 for the third training. So let me go ahead and find them. So, no, yeah, you need a lot of, uh, a lot of yin chakras. Like, I'd say a good 90k gold unless you recharge. <laughs> or just do the um, Sari Naruto thing. The Sari Naruto trial. Uh, link to Android friend needs it. I don't have it. I'll send an email to the developers and see if they can send it to me, and then I'll post it if possible. Uh, what does Yin Yang package is for? Basically, it's just an upgraded version of the Ninja Soul. So if you, go, I have a bunch of them actually too. So if you go to, let me see, I have eight Yin Yang packages. So if you open them up, um, you have those cards Yin and Yang. You go to decompose. You scroll to the right or to the left in this case. And as you can see, yin and yang, and just open, just use them. And you can get silvery um, items, which is really hard with anything else. Um, and silvery, just in general, have a lot higher bonuses than everything else. Like, silvery is the top tier uh, for the ninja gems, or ninja souls, whatever you want to call them. Um, and just do that, and there you go. You have some very powerful ninja gems or ninja souls, whatever way you want to call them. Uh, do you recommend uh, spending the 200 on Sasuke or Madara? Sasuke, because Madara really won't get you anything with 200. I believe Conan Frags drop in 25 1 in iOS only. Oh, okay, cool. Would you recommend putting the active skill on Sasuke or don't put ever? Don't ever put any active skills on Sasuke or any cards, really. They're useless most of the time. <laughs> Um, and that's about it for the questions. Uh, sorry if my voice sounds like shit, but as you probably heard it, I'm actually a little sick. I just realized that during the course of this video. 
Um, but yeah, I'll try to see you guys next time. I'll just show you how many uh, packages I get and what I get from those packages when it comes to the Minato Reborn thing. Otherwise, I'm probably not going to be posting unless there's like a really big thing happening. So, love you guys. Uh, thanks for the understanding for the long hiatus. And I'll see you guys later.